Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everybody. So let's talk about the latest firmware release from Bitmain, guys. This is the ASIC Boost. All right, so if you follow Bitmain, you can see that they literally just released 39, 39 minutes ago new firmware for the Antminer S9 original versions, and that is the ASIC Boost firmware. Now, if you go ahead and click on their link, it will tell you about the firmware, about the Boost, why they didn't do it, why they are doing it. Um, they also give you some links to download it. You know, so you have your Antminer S9 right here, but you don't see any new firmware, but we'll get into that into a second. So let's talk about this new firmware release. So my, from my first digestion of reading this, they basically talk that they have had this ASIC boost for a while now, but they didn't know if it was ethically the right thing to implement on their machines. So they didn't. Um, but since the, you know, since the other manufacturers did, use this ASIC boost and they did see that there were blocks mined with this ASIC boost, they just now decided to go ahead and add the ASIC boost to the firmware. Well, I don't believe them. I'm calling BS on that. I believe that they've been using ASIC boost this whole time on their machines and they're just now trying to release something to the consumer base, which is not out of the norm. They do this with all of their machines, you know, whether it's a firmware upgrade or just a new model of their machines. All right, so if you go ahead and read more into this, they talk, you know, I, I touched briefly about, um, you know, why they didn't use this in their machines, but they also talk a little bit more about the pools and, you know, talking about the BTC pool and the AMP pool, that they're ready to use this ASIC boost. And they also talk more into this, that um, you're going to have a lower jolt per tera hash and um, you know a lot of other good features about this now unfortunately i can't download this right now and i can't actually put it onto one of my ant miners to really see if it makes a difference and does what they say it does you know i want to see how many watts we're using and how many tera hash we get um, but once again you know when you go over to the actual link and you click on it and you check for the firmware it's still not up yet so we can't actually put it onto the machines and test it out, you know, but this really puts into play a lot of questions, you know, and one of the biggest things I was saying before is how long have they been using this? You know, like, is this, is this something they've been using for the past year and it's really going to help the machines that much <clears throat> that they couldn't give it to us a year ago? I mean, <clears throat> they talk about it in here that they didn't want to use it because of ethical reasons and blah, 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 but I, I don't believe any of that. Um, anyways, you know, I wanted to bring you guys this information first so you guys knew and you guys can actually put this on your machines as well. Um, they also talk about this, that they're going to be using this for the other amp miners as well, like the R4s, S9i, S9j, T9s, and T9 Plus, um, as well as other machines. So I'm really curious to see how this, you know, really affects the machines just from the standard firmware they were using before. Um, but as of right now, this is all that I can bring to you. I wish I could bring you actual legit solid information that I have upgraded the firmware and that it's giving us this amount of watts for this amount of terahash. hash, but I can't. So until I have more information, this is all that I can bring to you. I'm also going to go ahead and put the links in the description below. Guys, if you're not following me, please go ahead and subscribe now and give this video a big like. For now, Digi out.